And the first one that we're going to load up is Spaceport Babel. Uh, the, 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 the short blurb on this one. Uh, try to catch your connecting flight in an alien spaceport. Human translation's unavailable. Uh, this is... Yeah. It says, this is not a game but an experience. Uh, we're probably going to miss our flight. But I do enjoy these air quote walking simulators. Uh, I do enjoy games that are very experience and setting heavy. Like, right out of the gate. Like, what's what? But you can, like, the color. But this tells you this is go, this is back. So this is probably going to close the game. This, yeah. This takes you forward. So I'm very interested to see how this sort of thing gets expressed. Because this is like, how do you, how do you tell a story without words? Uh, even if there's not much of a story in here, uh, it's still just like, how do you express ideas? How do you communicate without language? Uh, I was actually watching a video from Game Maker's Toolkit, because they actually do game jams uh, every year. One of them was Game Without Mechanic. Oh, y'all are spooky. Corporeo Perishable. Uh, is that our gate? Did we just immediately find it? Like, that symbol matches. Or do we have to go this way? Hmm. Uh. Gotta run to make your flight. Sorry. Are you a help desk? You can't help me. Uh. But like, they did one that was... That sounds like a real airport announcement. That was, they did one that was like game without mechanic and someone made a text adventure without text. And so it was all emoji. And I might need to hunt that down and check it out. Cause it's, it's an interesting premise. Hey buddy. Nope. Yep. The symbol matches. I guess this is my flight? Gate changed. Damn it. It's the accurate airport experience. That's not it. The back here? No, that's not it. Hey, we we go back, I guess. We have two minutes. This is like going through O'Hare. This really feels like just going through O'Hare. We don't even have a people mover. I granted cuz like you generally don't have people at this at this station it seems. These folks are much more ghost like. Aha. Uh -huh. I feel like this is back where we started. 
I think this is back where we started. Gate changed again. Is it gonna, is, is it gonna change every time we get close? Like, once we get there? I feel like that's how it's gonna operate. Yeah, I feel like this is just being cheeky. This is being rude. This is a very interesting sense of place. Like, it's a little bit of, like these stairways are so annoying. Um, but it's like, it's all re like repetitive but it's supposed to be an airport, essentially. And like, that is how airports are. <laughs> Look, I'm here. I made it. It's designed to be impossible. It's clearly designed to be impossible. Yeah, now they're just being cheeky. Now they're just being cheeky. What is this? This is Spaceport Babel. Uh, we are trying to catch our flight. We are late to catching our flight. They keep changing the gate on us. Yeah, it really seems like we are actively forced to miss our flight. Yeah, this is now a horror game. Um, um <laughs> oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's a it's a shortcut. I took the employee only area. Or you know, what? maybe I'm the alien. I mean, yes, but you know, five seven corporeal? Clearly not. Clearly that was a lie. Look, they keep changing the gate, alright? Stop. See? Shortcut. It might be bugged out, but I really have to feel like this is part of the point. This is part of the design. Like, it's supposed to be impossible. Um, but I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, this just keeps bouncing back and forth between the same ones. Oh, now it actually gave us a different one.
Anyway, this is this is a a downside of a game that messes with your ability to communicate and receive information. If something goes wrong, it's virtually impossible to tell. You really have to make intent clear. Uh, even if you can't communicate it with words. So it's like, yeah, the, uh, the futility of all this may be the point. But I don't know. Uh, I also can't, like, escape out. Oh, that's pause. Escape to exit. Does it say anything here? Doesn't say anything on the itch.io page that would indicate if it's supposed to be doable. Uh, so the, the full blurb is, uh, welcome to Spaceport Babel. Our space support features a wide range of amenities, services, and comforts to make your travel more enjoyable. Disclaimer, we do not offer human translations for our signage. You cannot get refunds for missed flights. That does sort of lean into the thought that you are supposed to miss the flight, no matter what. Uh, AI. <laughs> yeah. I guess maybe the AI is, when we change your gate, what's the most annoying one to change it to? Um... Let me reset, give it another go. See if the experience changes to any extent. Uh, just to see, like, was it bugged out or is that the point? Is missing your flight no matter what the point? <clears throat> I'm, I'm leaning towards expecting that missing your flight is the point, but, like, I'm not sure. Okay. Run this way. Don't mind me. Boozy. Not every day you bump into a ghost. I mean, the, the way the stairways are built feels like it's a an intentional frustration, so... Right, this has to be this terminal. Yeah. Yep. Hi there. Just changed over here, didn't it? Yep. It just changed back. It's just bouncing back and forth. No. Nope. Gotta be this way, I guess. There isn't... Did I misread that sign? No, I didn't misread that sign. I, 
I suppose there are just more down this way. I think the gate changes might be some kind of puzzle. Uh, it's just really hard to solve because you don't have a language to work through. So you don't have an association with the symbols. No, I think it's just you're supposed to miss your flight no matter what. Uh, and then the setting just turns from being really alien to, you know, a bit more unsettling. I also wonder if this spaceport is, like, procedurally generated. What if I just go to a random gate? Let's try that, yeah. Just arbitrary gate time. Oh, that's a dead-end lounge. That's down. We were already down. Let's go up. I actually got myself lost away from all the gates. It's bad routing. Okay, random gate. No association. Nope. Nothing happens. So at least we know, like, we've been going to the right gate every time. So that's encouraging. Or whatever definition of encouraging this game allows you. Those are like subtly different. Here's the gate. Yep, and it changes. Oh, this one doesn't. This one does. Goodbye, cruel world. You let me back in. Uh, all are just lined up for a flight. I'm gonna go on your flight. Like, y'all just let me on. Uh, no? Okay. Yeah, it seems like the whole point of this is just you won't catch your flight no matter what. And so the experience is that hustle, like, that trying to run around. I can't interact with the ghost. I can't interact with the help desk. Like I've tried all sorts of like interaction buttons. Just doesn't do anything. Which again, sensible tease. You know? This is a game about not receiving the information you need. And so they present a setting, a help desk, where you would get the information you need. Like that's that's the point of it. And then they just won't talk to you. They just won't help. So it's like amplifying that helplessness just a little further. Then obviously like it turning into this red danger kind of coding. You know, it's just, just amping that up a little bit. Yeah, this, this is my flight. This is my flight. Are y'all like coming with me? No? I think we run through the terminal. Yep. 
So that's the whole experience, it seems like. Just try to catch your flight, gate change, ad infinum. Uh, so it's like great sense of setting. Again, like that is a lot of repetitive uh, architecture, but this is an airport. So uh, that's kind of to be expected. Uh, let's see. This was a submission for Train Jam. So th this was made in 52 hours on a train. <laughs> People were making this were literally on a train, going to GDC, building a video game. I'm not surprised it made a game about transit in that case. Cause like that that's what would be on your mind, for sure. <sighs> Probably complete with the annoyance of trying to use transit. I mean I like public transit, but stuff like airports, train stations, they can get annoying with, with things like gate changes and all that. Um, I feel like it did lean a little too far on not communicating things, because not communicating, like, where you're supposed to be, or, like, making that less obvious, that's nice. Um, not communicating the, I, I don't want to say failure state, but, like, I feel like it could have been a little more obvious that you are never going to catch your flight no matter what. Uh, it was, the mission, like starting off was clear, like you need to get to this gate in this amount of time, but the fact that it's a futile, like completely futile objective is, I don't know. Hmm. Um, but I guess that makes it you know, an experience and not a game, because a game needs to have a victory or a failure state, I feel like. Uh, and that game, you're always in the failure state, I guess? Uh, I don't know. Cool atmosphere, cool concept, not as clean of an experience as I would have liked, I guess.